uh, Professor Joseph? Yes. Hi, Stefano. Nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice to meet you. We talked that by email. Yes. Can I see? Do you have a, do you have a minute for me? Please, please. Thanks so much. Yeah. So thanks so much for taking the time again. And uh, as I mentioned to you by email, I was kind of interested in understanding a little bit more about the course. So do you mind if we go through kind of the key concept, what the course is about? So whatever you think is important. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sounds good. So the course is called Black Cultural Studies. Yeah. And throughout the course, you're going to be learning about the history, the politics, the theories of the study of African-Americans and people of African descent. Yeah. So we do a combination of using kind of historical narratives in the United States and abroad, um, talking through the history of enslavement a little bit, talking through some of the civil rights movement. Yeah. And we wed that to contemporary theories in black cultural studies. So for example, after we go through some of the early history, we talk about theories of black feminism, of black masculinities and yeah. um, the framing of, of black men's bodies. Yeah. We talk through black queer studies and we talk about um, black hybridities. We spend some time talking a little bit about the uh, representation of the Obamas as our first yeah. African-American first family and um, provide a different look into the way that we understand race and power and privilege operating in uh, in this country, so I it's a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> I need to ask Sorry. You a couple of okay. And we only do one thing at a time, not all at once. <laughs> That's relieving. Yeah. But one thing I so the first question that I have in mind, and uh, this came to me as soon as you as you mentioned uh, what the course is about. So I'm not American, and yes. I'm not black. Yeah. <laughs> is it something that you think is? Uh, is, I mean, is it okay for me to take it, first of all? And uh, is it something that is going to be difficult for me to follow because I don't really yeah. you know, be up to you know, the old history of America? I'm not sure if sure, I know. Sure, sure. I think that a lot of students have that question. I think that Black Cultural Studies is something that I would hope that everyone would take. I think that regardless if, if you are um, uh, of African descent and yeah. a U.S. citizen, or if you are relatively new to this country, that to understand the way in which the world operates in the United States, the way in which race operates, you have to understand the role and the representation yeah. of African Americans. Um, and so we don't at all um, presuppose that people who are African American, for example, have any type of leg up in learning yeah. and understanding the material. Um, but what we're asking is for people to be open to learning about um, about these histories and these experiences and how they are shaped by the power and privilege um, that is going on around us in our in our world. What do you mean by power? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so what we talk about a lot in the class is how the representations, it's a communication class, and yep. we're thinking a lot about cultural studies and representations, about how representations are structured by um, by our cultural desires, by our wishes, our values, our beliefs, um, what we might call ideology. Mm -hmm. And those wishes, those desires and beliefs are shaped by often those who have the most power in our culture. Yeah. And so we know that with images of people of African descent have often been skewed in a negative way because of the way in which those folks have not had access to power and privilege in the same way. So you're talking about like images like um things on newspapers and stuff like that, or is it something more complicated? No, absolutely, things on newspapers, uh, television, advertisements, oh. um, uh, films. Uh, in the class, students will have the opportunity to watch clips from a variety oh, of nice. places and, um, and learn how to analyze those clips. And in fact, for the final project for the class, mm -hmm. students will have the opportunity to choose uh, from YouTube clips of their of their their choice and to use one of the analytic frames to use some of the analysis that they learn in order to um, to talk about, to discuss, and and um, uncover something new about about the clips. Wow! And is this what you do as well as a researcher? 
this is what I do as well as it's a researcher. Fun. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. Um, yeah, I work on I work on popular culture, mm -hmm. and um, my area of expertise is um, representations of African Americans, of a mixed race people, of women of color in general. Um, and so I, I look at that in a variety of different ways. Yeah. Um, my first book looks at representations of mixed race African Americans in popular culture in the 10 years leading up to Obama's uh, election. And oh, wow. uh, the book that I'm working on right now looks at black women um, on and um, behind uh, television yeah. screens. And can I ask you something? So you mentioned a couple of times a methodology and uh, so I'll tell you why I'm asking you this. Yeah. I kind of try to imagine how uh, this course fits in the, the idea of uh, social science. Yeah. And I've talked with different professors, mm -hmm. and uh, one thing that I think I understood is that uh, social science is a matter of uh, some kind of methodologies as well. Mm -hmm. So what kind of methodology you're talking about, and uh, how does your what you do fits into the idea of yeah. social science? Yeah, so, so this course is a cultural studies yeah. course. And so uh, cultural studies believes that the way in which we can help to understand and to change the world is by analyzing and critiquing texts. Mm -hmm. And so in cultural studies, there is no kind of um, objective or neutral scholarship. Mm -hmm. We understand that everyone comes from a particular placement yeah. and um, has a certain set of expectations or beliefs as they come in to produce or to analyze a text. And so, and, and, in, and in black cultural studies, we're actually concerned with how to change the world as well. So it's not just producing scholarship in order to talk to other academics, but rather producing scholarship to help, hopefully make the world, hopefully yeah. make the world better. And how do you feel about doing this online? I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. Uh, it will be my very first experience doing doing a class online, but I think that having the opportunity to engage with students who I wouldn't necessarily engage with in the classroom, um, with a wider array of students, with students who will be able to to take the class at um, at their own pace in mm -hmm. certain ways, is is really wonderful. And um, I have a lot of activities built into the class to try and encourage interactivity. Students have to do video posts of themselves mm -hmm. so that I'm, I'm looking forward to actually getting to know them yeah. um, and their faces and their voices as well as them, um, their writing online. Wow. And have you taught this course like not online as well? Yes, I've taught it for about the last seven years. Oh, wow. um, I teach an undergraduate version of it as well as a graduate version. Wow! And how was the translation? <laughs> how was the process? It was. It was. Um, it was interesting. I uh, had a lot of material. You can imagine from teaching. Oh my gosh, it, Yeah, like years. four hours Jeez. a week. Also <laughs> for each of the classes, so yeah. I had, you know, what I would spend forty hours. Um, and I had to really condense that down into wow. these kind of manageable small yeah. lecture bits. So um, that was a challenge, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how I tried to do uh, a lot more on the student end yeah. um, and trying to figure out how to encourage their discussion and their engagement online. So um, I, I, I'm thinking that even though I'm not covering as much material as I might cover in a lecture, that they will be learning as much because they're going to be interacting yeah. with the material um, at, for the same amount of hours, even though they're not sitting there and watching watching a lecture for that so time. When you say that uh, you had to take something out, you mean uh, actual material that the people look at, or did you make it a little bit easier? How? What kind of choices uh, did, yeah. you, did you feel like making? I don't know if I would say easier. The, the reading is a bit streamlined. I also didn't include readings that I felt like I needed to be there in person to explain some more. Not so much in terms sense. of difficulty level, but in terms of things that were um, obscure. Yeah or, yeah, or even that politically needed a softer touch than I felt like I could handle online, that I needed Makes to actually sense. be there for the interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I kept readings that were a bit more straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's actually, there's a, especially for the students who might tend to be more um, naturally shy or quiet yeah. and not participate in class as much, on the online course, you have to participate. Yeah. It's a part of your grade. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so I can see actually those students in being engaged at a, at a greater depth yeah. um, because of all of the interactive activities that they'll be doing. That makes sense. Well, this was very helpful, and uh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Elena. Bye-bye.